it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Welcome back. It's a new year and we're putting together this Snoopy. So if you remember, we actually did this in Design Space in December because it had Christmas lights and it should have been in December, but uh, life got crazy and so we're going to do it this year. <laughs> All right. This is a big piece. It's an off the mat. It's 30 inches. Um, 30 inches doesn't sound like that big, but with this image, normally when you think of the princesses or if you can see the Grinch, baby Grinch behind me, 30 inches high, but he's really thin. On this Snoopy, it's basically 30 inches wide and 30 inches high. I mean, it's, it's a big, just a big square. So it's got a lot of pieces. I'm missing a whole row right here, but I just wanted to kind of, we're going to do it piece by piece and kind of get there. So with off the mat i always like to do my black background first and so you can see right now i mean it's actually in 10 pieces but you see six right here because the four pieces don't even fit in my screen right now so what you want to do is the way i like to do it is i flip everything over so this will be like this right and we're gonna tape one row at a time okay and I know you can't see everything so I'm gonna just kind of talk you through it this will give us the black background that all the colors will sit on top of so it's a lot easier to handle when you do have a solid black background the way I like to do this and I'm gonna move this down a little bit is I like to put two pieces together at one time. Holding one piece up, I'm gonna slide it against the other piece and make sure that it's, you know, like right up there, right? So you can kind of see the seams. I mean, you can see the seams, but it sort of, it, um, I think it kind of disappears a little bit when you slide it right up to each other and then you tape it down. So keep in mind that this is the black background and there's gonna be a colored piece sitting along this seam. So right now, all we're trying to do is we're trying to minimize the seams so that where the color pieces don't fall on top of, that it's still really minimal and our eyes won't catch the seam itself. So there's a lot of things that we do to try to avoid or try to minimize the seams. One is, you know, how we're taping it together, right? It's really important to like, not be sloppy about this section, right? So we're pushing it up against each other and we're making it as seamless as possible. The other thing that I like to think about or incorporate is, and I'm gonna flip this over so that we can tape these things together, is that your materials, right? So it's, we know that glitter cardstock, when pushed up against each other, the colors, the seam gets minimized. So, you know, when you when you can incorporate glitter cardstock, I do. Um, and <laughs> just felt like wrapping Christmas uh, presents right now where all of a sudden I just used my scotch tape, but where did it go? <laughs> so back to, you wanna make sure that you have the right colors in place when you can. I mean, there's, a lot of components to doing off the mat. So if you can't use glitter cardstock, then you gotta look at another component to see where you can work the seams. So maybe that's a different image than you may have wanted to use. But um, you know, it's a combination of the image selection, the paper that you use, and also how big you end up making the project. So you can still make it big, but maybe not as big as you want it to. <laughs> so kind of, I always use this as an example, but um, if you saw my um, Jasmine from Aladdin, right? I made her 61 inches and she had a ton of seams and it was just like unavoidable. I mean, at 61 inches, she's just one inch shorter than I am. So, um, had I done her in 48 inches, she would have been, you know, incorporating everything. She would have been, for all intents and purposes, <laughs> seamless. So it's just, you know, there's a lot of things that go into this. So, you, you know, just keep in mind it's, um, it's a compromise of all those different things. So, all right. The other thing is, if you notice, everything is butting up the four corners here, the four corners here. That is another... Another component that I think helps in making this seamless, and that's why I have the grid of squares 
um, I show you how to make that grid of squares so that when you're slicing, you have these pieces that will butt up against each other. Um, but I know a lot of people don't like to create that grid of squares. So I've created it as an SVG file. You can get it on my website. You can get it for free if you want to give your, um, your email to us. Um, I don't, I have yet to do a newsletter. That's what the email is for. So kind of just to give you context, context, like I said, I've yet to do a newsletter. So I'm not about just sending out a newsletter just to send it out. Um, or if you definitely don't want to do that, you could buy it. Um, and what's nice about buying it is that going forward, every time you do an off the map project, you can just go and insert that SVG file. So it makes it a lot quicker. All right, so I've gotten the six pieces down. There's another section right here. So I'm gonna bring that on right now. So it goes like this. So I'm gonna flip it over and I'm missing a piece right now. I know I have it somewhere. So um, we'll look at that in a little bit. Let's see, I think this goes here like this. Does that look right? And then there's, yeah, there's a bulb that goes here. Okay. Um, no. It's like this. I'm like, wait a minute. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to tape these together. I'm going to tape these two and then as a whole tape it to this piece. So, all right. I know we talked a lot about, I mean, that all that part is really technical, um, so it, it gets a little boring. I totally get it, but it's important so that your eye doesn't catch the seams. We're doing everything to make it big and beautiful, and these projects are so fun. If you've never done one, they, you know, because it's an SVG file, it looks exactly like the character. It looks so good. The papers are really bright and shimmery. They photo well. It's just a great, great party prop. I absolutely love making these. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this set with this. So same thing, I'm kind of lifting it up, pushing it against each other. And I'm going to, not in this video, but in the next one, I am gonna try to add real lights to the Snoopy lights on his little house. All right, so now we've got everything taped down except for this bulb. I'm missing that piece, which I think might be here somewhere. Um, sorry, I'm looking, let me see. Wow, I don't see it. I mean, it's a, it's a small piece so we can always cut it out again. So we'll just cut it out again. All right, so this is the back side. I'm gonna flip it over and we're gonna start adding the colored pieces to here. So it'll start to come together. I always recommend putting the colored pieces on here so that you can make adjustments. Sometimes it's not as obvious as you would think where things go. <laughs> so here is Snoopy. I'm gonna move this up so you can see this because I think the Snoopy piece is just so stinking cute. And sometimes with pieces like this, where you know it's gonna go there, you could start to tape it down. This was a weird file. I couldn't get that to work, so it kind of fits in between here. And then here's the eye. So we're gonna have to do that from behind. But look at how cute that is, right? Um, let's see, he's got a little white tail. Like that, yep. So that's Snoopy right there. And then we're gonna add the red pieces. So let's see where all these pieces go. I have, sorry, I'm looking at my design space to kind of help me piece this back together again. Cause it's, there's just so many pieces. Ah. Uh. <laughs> um. 
and not to mention I did this a month ago so we're gonna try to piece this together as best as we can so I'm gonna move this back down now that you've seen Snoopy I'm gonna move it like this so some of this will not be in the frame so but you'll start to see it it'll start to come to life so here it's, you know, it's important to um, piece it together like this because if you start to tape or glue things down, you won't be able to make the adjustments and some places will look really, really bad because um, it's not that obvious where they go sometimes. Okay, so this piece, this is the stocking. I still don't know where this piece goes. I feel like, what? Oh, it's this corner piece up here, okay. It's upside down and I couldn't figure it out, okay. And... Uh. <laughs> it feels like it should be obvious, but it's not. Okay, let's see, where does this piece go? Somewhere down here. All right, we are, okay, here we go. Like this. Starting to get there, starting to get there. Um, here's the little sock. Can you see that? Okay. And I cut out, I couldn't decide on the sock. So we'll we'll make a game time decision right here. Or the little stocking, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's see. Okay, so this piece goes here. Starting to come together. Um And I'm going to move this so that you can see it in just a second. I'm going to move it down so you can see the top of this house. Cute, right? And then we move him back a little bit. We can get the bottom up here. Okay. Um, here's his cute little ear. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so I've got one thing down. Now, um, I don't know if you remember, but you can kind of see how it's curved right here, and it just has this foot. So it would not really be balanced to like um, stand propped up against the table. So I made this little ice patch that will go underneath here, and it's going to look... It's going to be a standalone of the white, so it's going to look like this. A patch of ice right here so that way this will be flat along this line let me move this up a little bit so it's gonna look like this and you can kind of see this will then lay flat it'll have the foam board behind it so that it will stay propped up um, against you know like on a table or on the floor against something so okay so that's down so here's the other piece that i did for the stocking so let me get this back down i had this green for the the little stocking but i also did a candy cane one i don't know if that's too busy or if the green is better. <laughs> so I'm leaning towards the green right now, but we'll see in a second. Here is his nose. So Snoopy's looking really, really cute. Okay. Um, so like these two pieces right here, it's one. So you can kind of see, like here's the seam, right? 
but with the red glitter cardstock, when I put it up against each other like that, you can't see that seam anymore. So that's what I was talking about, like depending, you know, know your colors, know your materials, um, and if you can't deal with that, then you're gonna need to readjust with maybe a different image or just a different version of that image. Okay, so let's continue. We're almost there <laughs> as I'm piecing this together. What is, this? okay, this piece is over here somewhere. Um, don't know. <laughs> okay, this is right here. I know, right now it's just one big puzzle. Um, where is this piece? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, here we go. This goes here, I think. No. What's this? And I did these lights in, um, oh man, what's this material called? Vel vellum paper because I was thinking that I would cut this out in the back and have lights coming through. So I haven't quite decided how we're gonna do that just yet. But today, for this one, we're just gonna put everything together and then we'll figure that out later. We'll add that, that'll be an added bonus. Okay. And you can kind of see already how like it's, we're gonna need to make some adjustments once all the pieces are down. So that's why you don't wanna glue or tape this down just yet. Um, okay. Okay, and we have a bunch of these that will go in for the lights. Aren't they cute? All right, I'm missing a big piece right there. What is that piece? few pieces here. Okay, here we go. This one goes over here, which you guys can't see right now. And kind of weird. I've got this piece right here that I have no idea where that goes. I've got this part. Well, it's gotta be somewhere up here. Okay, I am missing a piece right now. So let's see. Okay, I don't know what to make of this. I'm gonna see if I have it in my discarded pile somewhere. Oh, this is what happens when you take too long to do a project. I don't recommend that. Yeah, I'm totally missing a whole section right here. I'm missing one big piece. So I'm gonna pull this down so you can kind of see what's going on. I mean, it's looking really, really cute. But you can see I'm missing that middle section. I'm missing a big piece of Snoopy right there, or right by Snoopy. I'm 
missing the black piece and I'm missing a red piece right here. It looks like it might just be one piece that I'm missing. So what can we do in the meantime? We can make adjustments to this part because this part will be done. This part has all its pieces. And the other thing with off the mat is sometimes like I have a line running through right here. I'm gonna adjust this red piece to cover that line. And because I'm adjusting this piece, that means everything else is gonna get adjusted a little bit. So that's why it's important to kind of just put it down before you place everything, um, before you make it permanent. So, okay, let's see here. It just snoopy a little bit. So I think that looks good. So we can, so these pieces, they're in different shapes. I'm gonna do this one right here. And I'll show you what the lights look like. So I did like little lights like that. That looks cute, right? Um, but I also did them like this so that we can add lights to it. Either way, I think they look really, really cute. Um, we can do a little cutout like with an X-Acto knife. I think that's what I wanna do. I'm trying to think what would work best there. I know this is like a working session. Um, I bet you didn't realize we were going to be doing that. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to think how I would want to do the lights. Maybe if we just cut out a little hole and have the light there. Okay, so let's talk about how to start to glue this down. So this bottom half feels really good to me, like it's spaced properly. So we can glue this down. So what I would do is, and let me look at the picture. I'm gonna go to the Etsy file that I bought. So give me a second. Okay, so, oh, his nose actually goes out over here-ish. Okay, so he's holding that. We've got two little white pieces for the saw. So I'm gonna get those pieces. This is not the piece for the white saw. Oh my gosh, I'm like just missing pieces left and right. Okay, I still have this piece here. Let's see. Oh, I think this piece goes like this. So then I'm just missing one piece right here. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to use Barely Art Glue because it doesn't warp my paper. But before we do that, this piece right here, I want to tape it together so that it's not moving at all. So with regular scotch tape, We're gonna do that. And then you can see, you can't even see that seam. It's so important to know your papers because that right there just makes it look amazing. So, all right, I'm gonna do that. Okay, 
So let's glue down some of these pieces. I'm gonna glue down the sock first. Oh, that did not just happen. <laughs> oh my gosh, like my bottle, what in the world? All right, this is not meant to be today. <laughs> Total hijinks. All right, I'm gonna clean this up. I'm actually gonna pause this video. It's gonna be a part two. I'm gonna clean this up, but you'll see this piece right here. I may need to recut it or I can clean it up. The glue does dry clear, but look it, I'm probably just gonna recut this piece because even if it glues, I mean, even if it dries clear, it just really took away from the shimmer of my red. So, <laughs> so now you know, right? These things happen all the time. I'm missing this piece. I'm missing a white piece of the sock. Um, I think that's all I'm missing though. I'm gonna recut this red and then we're gonna restart. Well, not restart. Oh, and I'm missing this black piece right here. We're going to, um, yeah continue in part two because this is what happens so thank you <laughs> for sticking with me i will catch you in part two all right